Hello everyone, in this video I will explain the formation of the peptidoglycan layer which is crucial for the survival of all bacteria. In turn, the inhibition of one of the proteins involved leads to the death of the bacteria. This fact makes it an attractive target for novel or already established antibiotics. The aim of this video was to illustrate each step necessary for the formation of the bacterial cell wall. In the first step, udp murnach pentapeptide is attached to a lipid carrier which is anchored to the lipid bilayer or easier, the membrane. The first membrane protein, MRY, cleaves off uridine monophosphate and attaches the pentapeptide to the lipid carrier. The molecule formed is also named lipid 1. In the next step, N-acetylglucosamine or glucnac is attached to lipid 1. This step is catalyzed by the protein MURG, which attaches the UDP glucnac to lipid 1 by cleaving off uridine diphosphate, forming so called lipid 2. So now we have the basic molecule for the formation of the cell wall. In the end of this process, thousands or millions of these molecules are attached together to form the first defense barrier against all kinds of environmental stress or enemies' attacks. In the next step, the linker between the lipid 2 molecules is formed, which are in the end five glycine molecules. For this step, we need four different proteins. First, the glycine is attached to a tRNA with the help of ATP and the protein glycine tRNA ligase, or short, GLU-RS. GLU-RS transfers the glycine to the proteins FEMA, B and X, which are responsible for the formation of the pentaglycine bridge. For a better visualization, only FEMX is shown in this video, which attaches the first glycine to lipid 2. Now we have the final molecule which must be transferred to the outside of the bacterial membrane. This step is catalyzed by the flippase mur J. For a better visualization of the further steps, the molecule is shown in a simplified way. In blue we can see N-acetylmuramic acid and in green N-acetylglucosamine. The glycosyl transferase cleaves off lipid 2 from the carrier molecule and attaches it to other lipid 2 molecules already outside the membrane. The penicillin binding protein catalyzes the connection of two adjacent lipid 2 molecules. Finally, a thousandfold repetition of this cycle forms the peptidoglycan and finally the complete cell wall. 